So, Linton Vassell, good to see you, man. Um, you know, coming off a couple nice wins and everything. I know the, the start at heavyweight probably wasn't your ideal situation, but it's been great so far, right? The last yeah. two? Um, you know, that happens. You win, you lose. You know, it's part of the game. So, after that first loss, went back to the gym and corrected a few things. I came in at 247 for that fight. So, I was like, that's too heavy. Now I'm 240, two wins from that weight. So, that's my new weight. It's that 240. Feel good, feel healthy, feel sharp and strong. So, yeah, is that the challenge of you know being at heavyweight? There's obviously such a big uh, weight gap or range that you can be in there, and I'm sure it, it really affects your what you do in, in there in terms of what size you decide to come in. Yeah, so I was always a light heavyweight for many a years, um, coming in at 205, but I'd walk around about 225, 230. So when I made that move to heavyweight, obviously it's a no, big weight to come in. I never fought at that weight before at 247. So, you know, just change a few things, change my diet a little bit. Instead of bulking up so much, you know what I mean? Just eat clean and, and stay at that, that range. Yeah, definitely. And uh, it probably makes it a little easier to train as well, right? Not always having the weight cut in the back of your mind. It does, it does. Fight camp, fight week is so good. Get to obviously have a laugh, eat what I like, you know what I mean? Training's going well. I don't feel depleted. So yeah, it's, it's definitely a great, great move for me. Yeah, and it's kind of, a, since you last fought, a bit of a new era with Bellator, right? They took some months off, but now there was showtime and everything. What have you just thought about the, uh, the big moves they've kind of made in the past few months since you last fought? Oh, it's great. It's great because back in England, we couldn't really watch it. Sometimes um, you'd have to watch it the next day or even the, the following week. So now it's on a channel called um, BBC iPlayer back in England, or now you can watch it on um, YouTube. Or even, I think, yeah, YouTube now. Yeah. So, you know, they're, they're happy. They get to watch it pretty much live, just like us. Yeah, so as far as what's going on with you, uh, obviously, you know, set yourself up nicely in a good position in the heavyweight division. Uh, what's your ideal scenario going forward? So fight as soon as possible. You know, I'm, I'm good to go. I've been here helping the boys out. So if they got something for me, say, June, um, early July, I I'm good to go. You know, a good, a good six-week camp, I'd, I'd be perfect. In the uh, back of your mind, were you hoping that all the Ryan Bader would, would drop the opening tournament fight just so he could come back to heavyweight and get this division moving? Of course, yeah, of course. You know, I feel like I'm so close to, to, to a rematch against Ryan Bader. So if he obviously was able to come back and, and get that division started, perfect. But at the moment, it looks like obviously I'll be fighting whoever they got for me next, take that person out, and then makes me one more step closer to fight Bader, whoever fights for the title next. And since your last fought, Bellator has introduced rankings. What do you think of that and kind of maybe having a little bit of a clear idea exactly who's in front of you, who's behind you, those type of things? Yeah, I think them rankings are a load of shit. <laughs> a load of shit. I went down. I went down. I didn't even fight. How do I go down? You know, I didn't lose or nothing. I won, so I should have stayed where I am, so I just think that bullshit. <laughs> I, guess, I guess in theory though, do you think it's like good to have that structure with, because before it was just kind of willy-nilly in terms yes, of the matchmaking, now that there's a little bit more clarity. I feel yeah, as long as we all fight each other in the top 10, then it'll make sense. If we don't, and then you go up and stuff like that, how does it make sense? Yeah. You know, I feel like the top 10 fight the top 10, you know what I mean, then no qualms about it, you know, so. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't know if they change it. I know it's new, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, I guess, you know, have some fights and maybe there's a little more clarity. But in knowing that, who is exactly in front of you, is there a name that stands out that you think would make the most sense? Um, obviously, Bader, because he is the champion. Like, I, w I want the champ and obviously Modoski. You know, I've, I've named them two guys probably for the last, since I've been in heavyweight, so last year or so. So either of them two would be perfect. Yeah. If I don't get them, I don't get them, but you know, at some point, that's, that's where I want to fight next. Yeah, and it's obviously you want that Bader rematch. Um, what do you think would be different about another fight with him? I'll be one heavyweight. My mindset would be different, you know, obviously. First time fighting him regardless, you know. Not that I know what he's about, but in a way, I know what sort of game plan I can change, change a few things and come in. You know, a different approach. You know, like, why am I trying to grapple a wrestler at the end of the day. Obviously, my, my mindset was I'll beat him on the ground, you know, um, so I'm not going to wrestle a wrestler. You know, wrestling will happen, but I'm not going to go in there and wrestle him straight away, you know, so.
What do you think about what he's done you know, since then? Obviously, you know, a double champion, he lost one of the belts, yeah. but uh, he's kind of fluctuating up and down between weight classes. I can't you know, imagine that does a little bit to his body and stuff. Do you, do you think you're going to be getting a, a very different guy when you guys fight again? Yes, definitely, because the two fights, when he fought Nimkov compared to when he fought Machida, two different fighters. So I heard he took the fight on short notice before. It is what it is, you know, but he looked a lot more dangerous you know, in, in a Machida fight.